G'day there, Scotty Brizzle here. Lovely sunny day here in Lismore. I've got the opportunity to talk with somebody that we all know, doesn't need an introduction. It's uh, Janelle Saffin, state member for Lismore. I'm about to do a walk around with Scotty and he's got some questions for me. So I better put my thinking cap on. Let's rip in. Let's go. Woo. So first question, how are you Janelle? Five months post flood. I'm doing well and I say to people, I'm okay enough. I take seriously my responsibility to represent our community in the best way I can. So many acts of goodwill, such strength, such solidarity, that inspires me. Uh -huh. So I'm okay. I'm in a good position to represent us as fierce and as furious and as strategically as I can. Well, as we were trying to start this interview, your phone wouldn't stop ringing. Um, the people wouldn't stop coming up to you and talking on the street. I don't know how you do it, honestly. I'm lucky I've got uh, good energy mm. and some good experience that I yeah. can bring to bear. Yeah. Yes, I want things to happen a lot quicker than they should. Everything should have happened yesterday. I get yeah. that. Yeah. And I go hard on that, but I get it's not going to happen as fast as we'd like. There's been a lot of discussions surrounding the land swaps and the, the buyback schemes and, and whatnot. Can you just give us a bit of an update on where all that is at the moment? I'm told that we will get uh, buybacks that should include land swaps. Yeah. I've suggested relocatables and also some people want to raise their houses. So I said everything should be in the mix. Everything should be looked at. Everything should be looked at. It's yeah. not either or. We don't want a package off the shelf. We want a response that, mm -hmm. you know, speaks to us. With voluntary house raising, I've had a few people ask for that. Of course, I've raised that with the Northern Rivers Reconstruction Corporation. Yeah. And at some point, we'll get sort of guidance on that. With the buybacks, I was really clear before that they have to be on the table at a value for... Oh, we better not get hit by this um, car. Pre no, we better not. Hey! <laughs> How are you? That's what I mean. Keeping the dream alive. I'm told they're all on the table. I'm told they're coming. I don't even want to think about the alternative. Okay? Yeah. yeah. But I'm told that, but that will be up to government ministers or yeah. premier yeah. to announce that. And I've asked for money from both state and federal government for that, like they did in Queensland. Yeah, that's mm. right, because that's what everyone keeps bringing it up. Why do they get that? What about us? Exactly. You know? What about us? I've had that conversation with our recovery coordinator, Mel Lanyon, yeah. and with David Witherton at the corporation. And, and we did hear David Witherton on ABC say they're coming. So that was like, yay. Speaking of the Northern Rivers Reconstruction Corporation, mm -hmm. you see a lot of people saying that the government's forgotten about us, but does it really matter now that we've got this, you know, Reconstruction Corporation going? Mm -hmm. Look, I'll answer it this way. Mm -hmm. From day one, I drove relentlessly and it was really strategic, sustained advocacy to get our own body. I've seen governments come and go. I've seen them walk away or the caravan moves on. Mm -hmm. And I thought we need our own single body dedicated yeah. to our reconstruction yeah. at every level. Physical, economic, emotional, environmental. That was why I drove it. We've got it, it's ours and it will be alive for three to five years. I'm satisfied that David Witherton's the right person to lead it. Degree of competence and compassion that he's got, he can be as good as we can be. That's we've right. got to stay on the case, yep. all of us, and we've got to keep stating what our needs are. Yes, all governments move on, I know that. All I know move that, on. <laughs> and we won't let them. That's why I'm glad that um, we've got you, Janelle. Thank you, Scotty, yeah. and I'm glad we've got you. A great, what I call, civic duty you're performing. Oh. Oh, thank you so much. As we're as we're here down in the CBD, I wanted to ask because there's just whispers of a of the the CBD relocation and, and whatnot. Do you think that we can even move these these buildings? Like, is it possible? I've never seen a city move before following disasters. I've seen some relocations. I've yeah. seen a whole range of things like Christchurch, but some of their soil liquefied, so a bit hard to build back. But look, I've never seen that before. And most of the people who say it are people from outside. I actually challenge some of them. I say, look, we're going to build back better. We don't know exactly what that means right mm. now, but that's our spirit, that's yeah. our framework, and that's where we start. Because I hear a lot of people say it's just a marketing term. All it is is marketing. Is it real? No, it's yeah. real. Again, I drove it. Because I thought if we don't have something to aim for, mm -hmm. then... 
you know, where do we start? And that means like Murray's been doing with the membrane painting. Yeah, Murray yeah. Murray discovering our heritage. Like you're doing, yeah. you're talking us up in a sense and giving positivity. They're all the things that we're doing. I say, just do what we're doing for now. Other opportunities will come. And for a lot of people, this is our life. How do we transplant our life? You hear outsiders saying, just get out. What are you doing? It's insane to stay. Why, why would you stay if you know it's going to happen again? It's not that, it's simple. Not that simple. This is our home. This is our economy. Yes, we need all the other things. You know, we need a great environment, but we need yeah. an economy. We'll work through it. Yeah. But we have to make sure the community is involved every step of the way. And that's the main concern. That's a challenge. What, we're five months in. Do you have any advice for people who might be struggling mentally and... Um, need a, a bit of hope to for the future how do you deal with this not everyone has you know a family they can reach out to if you've got a friend you can reach out to mm -hmm. that really helps if you've got a phone a phone call away with lifeline beyond blue they're yeah. really helpful organizations for kids yeah kids helpline for most of us it's just talking with each other i feel like cafes aren't just cafes here in lismore it's a bit no. of like a, a therapy session you know it is like yeah. sometimes people will ring me and say hey janelle i'm worried about so and so yeah. i give them a call really try and reach out i get that can be difficult if people um, are suffering from depression mm -hmm. where that feeling of i can't take action know about someone tell someone else and we can try and you know reach out to them having somebody like you on the front line that's spearheading this gives a lot of people hope but also it's it's practical you're, you're talking about real stuff not just talking points that you're just throwing out there from the heart that's why i wanted to catch up and chat with you today thank yeah. you scotty no, it's no been worries. great walking around with you no, on the behalf of lismore i just want to thank you for all your hard work <laughs> let's see lismore come back thriving hey i just want to say one other thing of to course. people who watch your videos which mm -hmm. are fantastic i cover the lismore electorate i go out beyond tenerfield i've got kyogle i've got mawulamba tweed valley i'm responding to all of the regular day-to-day -day issues, but in those areas that were flood impacted, mm. I'm responding to their needs in the same way. You're a busy woman. Thank, thank you, you. So, thank you so much, guys. We'll see you next time. See you next time. <laughs> and if you want to come have a chat with Janelle, here's their temporary space between Winks and Tursa here on Carrington Street. It's great that she's here in the CBD for the people. Thanks so much to Janelle for all her time. Like honestly, she had people coming up to her on the street constantly and she answered all the questions. So pretty inspiring to see. If you find these videos valuable and you wanna help me out, donate to my Patreon, I'll put that one below. And a massive thank you to my sponsors at Benchtop Espresso and the Metropole Hotel who keep these videos coming. So get down and support those legends. But until next time, keep it real. Give your mum a hug for me, please. See ya.